The video you're about to see is for historical purposes only. It is an almost daily snippet of 1010 Winds broadcast in New York City and the New York City metropolitan area. On my morning commute, I listened to this news broadcast and decided to share a snippet of the news for historical purposes. The mission is to record history. There was no document. That was a massive amount of papers and everything else talking about Iran and other things. And it may have been held up or may not, but that was not a document. I didn't have a document per se. There was nothing to declassify. These were newspaper stories, magazine stories. He added that some of his personal items, including golf shirts and shoes, were packed in the same boxes because he left the White House, in the former president's words, in a hurry. A series of threatening letters with a mysterious white powder have been sent to dozens of Republican lawmakers in Kansas. The letters are signed, Your Secret Despirer. At first, envelopes containing a suspicious powdery substance were discovered in the mailboxes of a few dozen Kansas lawmakers. But tonight, the list of intended recipients is growing. More than 100 Kansas officials have now received letters, and federal law enforcement sources tell ABC News letters were also addressed to former President Trump. Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas and other high-profile individuals, though we're told the postal inspectors intercepted those letters before they were delivered. That's correspondent Aaron Katursky. Wins News Time, 8-11. That's time for Traffic and Transit with Karen Stewart. Well, we're sufficiently jammed on the inbound Gowanus to the BQE eastbound. We've got heavy traffic coming off the Verizon Bridge and getting up in 39th Street, and then we're jammed from there. Up into Atlantic Avenue, we've got westbound jammed traffic on the BQE from Queens Boulevard to the Kosciuszko Bridge, and then moderately heavy traffic from the Kosciuszko Bridge down to Atlantic Avenue. If you're traveling over to the East River Crossings, here's what you need to know about the bridges and tunnels. The RFK is rather heavy. We've got delays that go back to City Field. Uh, Roosevelt Avenue, actually, on the uh, westbound side of the Grand Central Parkway. Getting over to the eastbound BQE, which travels up to the westbound Grand Central, that's delayed from 31st Avenue. And then the bridge is moderately heavy, but the Bronx Man is doing well. However, there are digging delays on the northbound side, getting out into Grand Concourse, and then we've got more northbound traffic from the stadium, getting up into 95. Now, the inbound Hudson River crossings, the inbound GW Bridge is 50 minutes, the Lincoln is 50, and the inbound Holland is one hour. And we've got path train delays on the Newark to World Trade Center line due to a vandalized train at Newark that they need to take out of service. Alternate side parking's in effect today, citywide. We're sponsored by Cars for Kids. Our next report is 821. I'm Karen Stewart, 1010 Winds on 92.3 FM. Cars for Kids. No more stressing over your old vehicle. Donate it today and get it picked up tomorrow. It's the easiest service out there. Donate online at carsforkids.org. That's cars with a K. 1877 Cars for Kids. Donate your car today. Let's check out the AccuWeather four-day forecast now with meteorologist Brian Thompson. And Brian, for those of us who like it on the coolish side, today and tomorrow, not so bad. Yeah, uh, looking pretty good. Bud temperatures back into the 70s for high temperatures again. Uh, Thursday will be the coolest day, but we will have some rain to contend with by then. Starting off uh, kind of cloudy across much of the area. We have seen some glimpses of sun here or there. We'll have intervals of clouds and sun throughout the day, but not quite as warm as yesterday when it did get into the 80s in most spots. High 77 uh, this afternoon. Might have a stray shower across the Hudson Valley, Connecticut this afternoon, uh, but the vast majority of the area will be dry. Mostly cloudy tonight, low 62. Summer officially arrives late tomorrow morning. Uh, not going to really feel like it, though. High 74 tomorrow with some sunshine. Mostly cloudy on Thursday. We do expect some rain to move in. High 72. And much of the day may end up in the 60s if it is raining much of the time. More humid into Friday. Clouds and some breaks of sun. A couple of showers and a high of 78. And probably a few more showers and storms into the weekend as well. 65 degrees and cloudy right now in Midtown. We're going up to 77. I'm Acumen with the meteorologist Brian Thompson on New York's weather station. 1010 winds on 92.3 FM. Thank you, Brian. Winds News Time 813. Coming up, the Secretary of State's trip to China discussing 
Ukraine. New York City's first and only life plan community, River's Edge, will soon be built on a 32-acre campus along the Hudson River, just minutes away from Grand Central and Riverdale. River's Edge, a community for adults ages 62 and up, combines a cosmopolitan lifestyle with the security of knowing that if your health changes, your needs can be met seamlessly right where you live. You have a life plan with easy access to uninterrupted on-site care at no additional cost, no matter how your needs change. River's Edge, your plan for wonderful. Call 844-55-RIVER. That's 844 River or visit riversedge.org. I'm Barry Colstein. I am a violin maker. Precision is part of my profession. Five years ago, when I was diagnosed with prostate cancer, I chose Cyberknife. Cyberknife only hit the tissue that was affected by the cancer. Treatment was five days. Virtually no side effects. I'm healthy and I'm basically cured. For an appointment, call NYU Langone's Perlmutter Cancer Center at 833-1-CYBER. That's 833-O-N-E-C-Y-B-R. Let's face it, your company is still feeling the financial effects of the pandemic. And if you own a restaurant, dental practice, or small business that persevered through lockdown, a phone call to Omega Accounting Solutions can be a game changer. Omega Accounting Solutions is an established, respected accounting firm, helping businesses like yours receive the ERC tax credit. Unlike CPAs and others who may not grasp all the complexities of the ERC, Omega's experts are fully trained to understand ERC qualifications and simplify the application process. Learn in less than 10 minutes if you are a good candidate. Call Omega even if you've applied for other pandemic assistance in the past. If your company employed five to 500 employees during the COVID crisis and continued to pay payroll taxes, you may be eligible to receive a refund of up to $26,000 per employee. Running a small business is challenging enough. Trust Omega Accounting Solutions to help claim the tax credits you deserve. Call now, 800-704-2000 or online at omegataxcredits.com. The phone number again, 800-704-2000. That's 800-704-2000. When it's news time, 8.16, Secretary of State Blinken's trip to China is now over. The two sides agreed to, quote, stabilize U.S.-China relations. But Blinken says China is not ready to resume military-to-military contacts. The U.S. was hoping for that, to avoid future miscalculation, especially over Taiwan. As for the war in Ukraine... The U.S. still pressuring China not to sell arms to or help Russia with its Ukraine invasion. Former U.S. Defense Secretary and ABC News consultant Mick Mulroy says if Ukrainian forces Russia to lose ground... That will show China that they've chosen the wrong side, and it may also show them that any idea of taking Taiwan might go the same way. Chinese officials saying they're not helping supply Russia weapons. Andy Field, ABC News, Washington. On the ground in Ukraine, it appears that the Ukrainian counteroffensive has slowed. The Ukrainians acknowledging the Russian troops have reinforced and are launching offensive operations in the east and northeast of the country. Ukraine's commander-in-chief insisting that the operation continues as planned, despite some claims there's a pause in the counteroffensive, but he does admit that the Russians have a system of fortifications, including dense mining, expect they're going to be slow and deadly. It's correspondent Ian Panel. Wins News Time 817. California Governor Gavin Newsom says there's no chance, in his words, on God's green earth that he is running for president in 2024. And he continued his ongoing war of words with Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. Newsom and DeSantis are not actually on the ballot against each other, but they represent opposite ends of the political spectrum as governors of two of the biggest and most influential states. Newsom, in his latest comments, says DeSantis is weak, undisciplined, and will be crushed by Donald Trump. Federal safety regulators want to know why some Hyundai electric vehicles are suddenly losing their driving power. In many cases, the driver heard a loud pop and saw a dashboard warning. Now, the issue may be related to a unit that controls the electric vehicle's batteries. Hyundai tells Automotive News it's cooperating with the investigation and has already begun a program to update vehicle software and replace hardware if needed. It's correspondent Jeff Gilbert. When's news time? 818. Don't want to get a copyright strike. Sleep habits. Are you a night owl? As sung by James Taylor. Or 
Of a morning lark. Finnish researchers say morning larks tend to live longer than night owls, and it may not have as much to do as when you take your rest as what you do while you're awake. The study finds mortality risks for people who like to stay up late increase by at least 21 percent, mostly because of smoking and drinking. Previous research has shown staying up late is tied to cardiovascular disease and mood disorders. The new study is published in the peer-reviewed journal Chronobiology International. It's correspondent Deborah Rodriguez with that report.